This wasn't supposed to happen. So not only did Anthony Joshua lose, so did the thousands of people that had their money on him. And based on the estimates, millions of dollars worth of cash went down with AJ, since most fans, fighters included, were betting for him to win. So we all saw how Daniel Dubois solidified himself and annihilated Anthony Joshua in front of 96,000 people in a sold out Wembley Stadium. It has been revealed that this win from Daniel Dubois has led to Tyson Fury losing $150 million. Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury were supposed to meet early next year that would have secured Tyson Fury the set amount. But with AJ losing, that cash all went down the drain. Anthony Joshua's promoter Matchroom Zeddy Hearn has revealed that the loss has triggered the rematch clause in which they intend to pursue. AJ has made it clear that he has no intentions of retiring and that he will be back again very soon. MMA star Conor McGregor also turned heads when he walked into the event and was seen going through a roller coaster of emotions as the fight was happening. Now we're not entirely sure who Conor McGregor was betting and rooting for as he was seen celebrating when AJ fell, but also looked stressed out during certain times when Dubois was beating the living hell out of AJ. For the most part, however, everyone who witnessed the fight enjoyed what they saw. Members of the boxing world, both fans and fighters alike, were happy to witness the slugfest that took place at the Wembley Stadium. So now that the fight between Dubois and AJ is behind us, the next big fight is between Arthur Bitterbiev and Dimitri Bivol for the undisputed light heavyweight championship. This is arguably one of the most anticipated fights and is seen by many as a true 50-50 matchup. And based on the results, this fight will also affect multiple fighters in the process, including David Benavides, Terence Crawford, and of course Canelo Alvarez. Despite David Benavides being the mandatory challenger, Canelo Alvarez has made it clear that a fight between him and Dimitri Bivol is something he wants to happen for Cinco de Mayo 2025 should Bivol defeat Bitter Biev. Canelo said that he wants this fight to take place at 175 for Bivol's undisputed title. Again, should Bivol win. This would mean that Benavides will lose his opportunity for a title shot as well as Terence Crawford suffering another heartbreak from being denied a Canelo payday. What are your thoughts about this? Definitely let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and as always please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more quick talks.